combat finds. 47 dead bodies recovered at landslide hit Makwan Marangching so far. Total number of injured and deceased victims turn out to be 79. Fever raging at Kwatha village. Over 20 villagers left sick. Manipur reports nine more daily COVID cases, three discharges. Active cases surged to 49. COVID-19 To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Whenever you go out of your house, wear masks properly. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Hello, good evening. Welcome to ISTB English News. I'm Surbala Kangabam. Let's see the news in detail. In the tragic landslide that occurred at Makwan Marangching on June 30, a total of 47 bodies have been recovered so far, with the five new dead bodies retrieved today from under the debris. Out of the five bodies, one was personnel of Territorial Army and four were laborers. On the other hand, 14 bodies still remain untraceable. 18 rescued victims have been admitted at different hospitals and undergoing treatment. It is reported that the total number of injured and deceased victims victims have turned out to be 79 with recent counting. It was informed that body identification has become highly challenging as the bodies have begun to decompose. And the RF, SDRF, Army, CRPF, Police, Fire Service, AMMTA and local volunteers are continuing the search operation at 4 to 5 spots from 5 a.m. Minister of Relief and Disaster Water Resources Manipur Awangbo Niumai has been posted at the spot and is monitoring the rescue and search operation. Relief and Disaster Minister Awangbo Niumai also visited Makwan Marangting Part 4 and Part 5 and met with families of the locals who were killed in the landslide. He also for offered his condolences and sympathies to the Biria families and recalled that the Chief Minister had announced an ex gratia of 5 lakh rupees each to next kin of the deceased. <laughs> NRD, uh, NDRF, SDRF, uh, police, local volunteers, department gay officers in Purna Sida, meeting down in Ramatunda, Nasidi systematically, SAS operation, say, Satare, Siba, Nasib, Nasib, Manong, the Maridi Pange, total 46 Sure, 15 is still missing. I don't know, Amasi, Turin, the Pang Manina. Atay su turin dalay rambia hana masai pung ahum makai duwa da apay si da labor team leaders miyam ay yaw na meeting tawo da downstream da su sa sa operation si sa tawo kare at the same time ausik more than thirty excavators yaw na civil mangi ba civil atang mga yaw na atay atay su in Kwatha village under Technopol district inhabited by Maite community, over 20 people including children are suffering with fever-like symptoms believed to have transmitted from one person to another. The villagers have been suffering from common cold, fatigue, fever and headache for over a week now. Kwatha Village Authority member Ning Taujam Chauba informed media persons that many including women and children have been downed with several illnesses including viral fever. The sick villagers told that the symptoms included common cold and body ache. The village authority has asked doctors at the primary health center to visit the village and treat the patients at the earliest to avoid a further complication. Hoje ko thagi chitti ang sing ahlam sing patak na na haru bever fever da na nare. Imong ngam da ani na ba ahum na ba dumai na na nare. Masida kahit dage ko na tamsi bale na na kanjebo tamda. Ah, lugle hau niya niya sa 
ayna ana bami da ham ha ha jeu matam da hai ro posi da hona e mok cycling kumba ade gi terasta bo na cha nai hai na hai bi dai da hai na phagala bosu laite phaba su yawe ade bosu sa gi hitak sina cha ro matam da ho gi doctor ga ho gi na ho na tanara ga cha jab di na ti maram ding sa gi cha da ya da bi phana na ba hai da na ho na cha jam na hai ma tin de ba de na maram mo ro ga ho gi ti hai si sabse dar ta bi de ba ho gi doctor na athu matam da ko tha da ling gire hara ga Manipur logged nine fresh infections from COVID-19 out of 155 samples tested for the virus in the last 24 hours. The test positivity rate in the last 24 hours was recorded at 5.8%. The total positive cases from COVID-19 in the state since the beginning of COVID have surged at 1,37,306. The new positive cases were 8 from Infal West District and 1 from Taubal District. Manipur, on the other hand, reported zero fatality from COVID as the total death tally remained at 2,120. State saw three more recoveries in the same span of time. The total active caseload increased to 49. Manipur has so far reported 1,35,137 recoveries from COVID-19 infections. State Mission Director NHM Dr. Somorjit Ningombam launched intensified diarrhea control fortnight today. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Somojit st stated that it is expected that this year 5.6% of 3.4 lakh children under 5 years of age might suffer from diarrhea and stringent measures must be taken to prevent the same. State Nodal Officer Child Health Dr. Sylvia Ayam was also present at the launch function held at the Office of State Mission Director National Health Mission at Lamphill. Dr. Somojit further said the intensified diarrhea control fortnight will be held till 20 of July. He also maintained that when suffering from diarrhea, one can easily get treated with intake of ORS and zinc tablet. However, as per report taken in 2021, only 60% of parents are aware about giving ORS liquid and zinc tablet to children under 5 years when they get sick with diarrhea. Under the newly launched mission, awareness on how to administer ORS liquid and zinc tablet to children will be given. ดายเดียดิอังอังอมตะสีดาบาให้บ่โกลสีดาควินะสะทะสะบะนี่มาสิยี่ออบเจคทีฟสิกะมายนะตอกะตะกะให้มตันดาโอ Minister of Tribal Affairs and Hills, Horticulture and Soil Conservation, Letpao Haukip, inaugurated model Angawadi building at Ti Yangnom Village, Mori. The minister informed that the steel roofing sheets distributed under TA and Hills Department will be manufactured by Dhania Roofing Company and the roofing sheets will come with TA and Hills logo and number. He urged concerned people to stop stealing what is meant for the underprivileged people. Records will be maintained on the number of roofing sheets each MLA has taken. In case if any MLA are found selling the roofing sheets instead of distributing to the people, the particular constituency will no longer receive the roofing sheets and the MLA will receive penalty, the minister warned. Speaking further, the minister said that the locals will no longer have a place to live if ILP is not implemented effectively. Foreigners must not be allowed to settle in Manipur. They must not be allowed to vote. He urged that the locals must prevent foreigners from contesting in elections. Ex-Chairman ADC Chanel Lukose Zou, Member Cecilia Haukip, JN Baikte, Angawadi ICDS staff, Technopol District, Village Chiefs, representatives of CSOs and KSO attended the program. Food and civil supply ki, PDS ki, public distribution system ki. It's in now as yan oibi ba kangbu. Khun the member oibi ba kangbu. Please, cheng, yon thokpi tos. Kana gumba, lai na lekta sing ki, cheng, pura laga, keji phada ni. Pire hai ba, as yan ga ipa uta bada. Second warning lai do maande. Adum shela ni. Thare nui, contract ni tauro, karol cha amagacha ni tauro. 
নই মনে রয় উ রয় লাইন বুকি পঙ্খাইতে লাইব চরা আনি ফান চাম চব কামবুকি খালগ পিরপ চিব কইন হুড়া কী কানি হাজব India reported 16,135 new coronavirus cases on Monday, according to the data by the Union Ministry of Health, raising the tally to 4 crore 35 lakh 18,564, while the active cases increased to 1 lakh 13,864, the ministry data noted. The death toll has climbed to 5 lakh 25,223, with 24 new fatalities, data updated by the ministry at 9 a.m. stated. The active cases comprise a 0. 0.26% of the total infections. The national COVID-19 recovery rate was 98.53%, the health ministry said. An increase of 2,153 cases has been recorded in the active COVID-19 case count in a span of 24 hours. The daily positivity rate was recorded at 4.85%, while the weekly positivity rate was recorded at 3.74%, according to the ministry. The number of people who have recuperated from the disease surged to 4 crore 28 lakh 79,477. According to the ministry, nearly 198 crore doses of COVID vaccine have been added administered in India so far under the nationwide inoculation drive. Chief Minister N. Biren chaired a meeting at CM Secretariat together with State Cabinet Ministers and General Secretary BJP Manipur Pradesh regarding NDA presidential candidate Draupati Murmu visit to Manipur. A meeting with the department officials was also held to review the situation of COVID in Manipur as state reported 37 active cases in the last seven days. Minister of Social Welfare, Skill, Labor and Fishery Hikam Dingo stated that as the state mostly depends on the center for many things, it is time to increase productivity in order to attend self-reliance. The minister made the remark during his visit on the third day at the 15th state-level pineapple festival come sellers and buyers meet and year festival 2022 organized by development organization Andro Assembly Constituency under the aegis of EBADA Ibada and MIDH, Horticulture and Soil Conservation Government of Manipur sponsored by NEC Government of India. MLA of Mayang Infal Assembly Constituency K. Robindro, MLA of Thanga T. H. Robindro, MLA of Kumbi S. Premchandra, MLA of Andro T. H. Shamkumar, Commissioner Agriculture Mahuth and Arts and Culture IAS Moijam Joy and Director of Social Welfare NG Uttam attended the occasion as men guest. Speaking further on the occasion, Minister Haikam Dingo appealed to keep aside all differences among different communities and instead work together to make the state attain self sufficiency. <laughs> ชาลัมเซมจะระกัยชาลัมเซมิลอนปุถุกจะระกัยหินนั่นนะบุกิชาอิรอมอิรอมดำเล็บชาลัมนะบุกิไปในปลท้าบ้าดิแกตัวบั
all four hill districts through the respective district veterinary officers. Speaking further, Minister Kashim Vasum stressed on the importance of veterinary doctors and attendants of each hill district to work with dedication, ensuring the second round of the vaccination for food and mouth disease program is implemented successfully. He called the veterinary department an important department considering the large number of households whose income depend on the rearing of livestock and poultry. It is responsibility of the staff of the department to make sure this livestock get timely vaccination and take other preventive measures. He also assured that efforts will be made to make the Department of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry function more efficiently. A is hamak na ting na kibalay kram. A is hamak na kompleng. Department ki mi amana hen klo fo ba prachanata government da sacrifice to ting drav di. Hen klo fo hai ni se lupatra ki wani, kun ki wani. Adu ba ba kat chik kat ting drav di. Nang na government da tolop thaku ting regular way na lo ning ba. Government da kens ki wasu ngang ba. Kun na du lebi da ki nang saris pang mani. Veterinary department lagi lagi nang service pembeli. Ado ayat cari batu lopsi veterinary department sila kita cari pun nang ibu kota mesti dikra pisah dok si kra terkata lagi. Director of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry, NG Iwotombi, said, with the vaccination for food and mouth disease and brucellosis control program, the department has the target of vaccinating 2,60,000 domestic cattle within three months. He also highlighted the benefits of vaccinating the cattle. India has a target of eradicating FMD by 2030. Three teams of Special Commando Unit Khabai Soy at about 5.15 p.m. yesterday, led by OC Special Commando Unit Khabai Soy Subedar L. Vivekananda, under the supervision of SP Railway and in charge of Special Commando Unit Khabai Soy T.H. Krishna Tombi, as a part of preventive measures taken up against war on drugs, arrested one person identified himself as one Makakmayum Amas H, about 23 years, son of M. Sikandar of Pangong Maning Lekai, Imphal East. 25 vials suspected to be brown sugar weighing about 30 grams and one mobile phone were seized from his possession. The arrested individual along with the seized items have been handed over to Irilbung police station for further necessary action. Well, Do Kang Lam Nong Pok Torban has become one of the favorite recreational hubs for visitors and with a beautiful view of the evening, many visitors have expressed a wish to extend the closing time of the counter which usually closed at 6.30. The counter at Kang Lam Nong Pok Torban managed by Mahud Department opened at 5 a.m. till 6.30 p.m. Visitors informed that the timing has not been well informed which has caused inconvenience for those visiting for the first time as they failed to make it on time and had to return without visiting. Many visitors said that even if the ticket counter follows a normal routine on other days, if the visiting hour is extended on Sundays, it will provide an opportunity for visitors looking for a place to relax as there are no such other places. They have appealed to the concerned department to make the necessary changes. Alumni of Punjab University Chandigarh hailing from Manipur extended financial assistance of 55,000 rupees to their alumnus Surjit Kaidem of Nagamapal Kangjabi Ladakh who has been undergoing treatment for kidney failure. Member of the alumni, Roshan Moirangfem, stressed on the need of people helping one another during difficult times. He further said, the alumni will continue to extend aid whenever a alumnus face hardship or misery. Surjit Kaidem and his family also expressed their utmost gratitude towards the alumni for the generous help.
In a historic official visit, Ukrul today welcomed the chairperson of National Commission for Women, Rekha Sharma. She visited One Stop Center, Ukrul and Ukrul District Hospital. Bangkul community leader and figure Soso Saija, who is also an ex-member of NCW, senior coordinator of National Commission for Women, Moirangthem Lilabati and Sanatombi accompanied the chairperson during the visit. Speaking on the sideline of her visit, Rekha stated that she has come to Ukrul, though it was far as it is needed to reach every nook and corner of the country to see where changes can be made. Rekha remarked that it was learned that the OSC Ukrul has not been getting funds for the last 20 months. They will be writing to the Ministry of Women and Child Development about it, she said. Awareness is very less among the community. Most of the people don't know where the OSC exists or where it exists. The, she also commented on the deplorable road condition to Ukrul and said that she will apprise Chief Minister Enbiren during her meeting with him tomorrow. In spite of the pouring rain, chairperson of NCW and her team also visited the Ukrul District Hospital and, uh, and had a short interaction with the medical superintendent, staffs and the nurses of the hospital. The district administration of Ukrul has also organized an interaction program. Chairperson of NCW and her team will interact with district administration of Ukrul, Tankul Civil Societies, NGOs, women leaders of Ukrul District at DRDA Hall, Mini Secretariat Complex Ukrul. The awareness is not there. People don't know whether the one-stop center exists or where it exists. Uh, even the approach to this uh, Ukrul district is very bad. So I will meet tomorrow to see him and I am going to talk to him about this. They are not getting funds from last 20 months. We will be writing to WCD ministry about it. That's why I have come here. Uh, it is far but uh, we should reach every nook and corner of the country to see where we can make changes. District Legal Services Authority Infal West and Infal East jointly organized a prize distribution program for an essay competition organized in connection with International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, which was held on 26 June at Ramnal Paul Higher Secondary School for the students of Class 9 to 12 of Infal West and Infal East districts on the topic Drug Abuse and Its Effect. The program was led by District and Session Judge Infal West A. Guneshwar Sharma and Chairperson MJS District Legal Services Authority Infal East R.K. Memcha. The winners of the essay competition were awarded with cash prizes and participation recognition certificates. Project Fab Maneva organized a mass tree plantation drive in commemoration of the 73rd Ban Mahatsav celebration 2022 in all the project villages with the youth of the project villages on Monday. The plantation drive was carried out under a theme celebrating friendship through tree plantation. Organizers mentioned that they want to encourage friendship among the villages and tribes through tree plantation where the youth went around the villages and planted trees. The project Fab Maneva also to introduce Mangai, which is a culture practiced by the forefathers, a culture to give friends in other village and share brotherhood in times of war and conflicts through the plantation. Addressing the gathering, Secretary of Maneda T. Peter Rangnamai stated that the barriers, tribalism and community-wise division is familiar among people in the state. Through God's grace, the need to join hands together and live together as one people has slowly been realized by people and to enhance it, the mass plantation drive is stated to be part of sharing the bond of relationship among people through planting trees. Senapati Division Forest Officer D. John Shah told that planting trees is stated to be a service for humanity for its survival while urged all to plant trees sincerely. The DFO also mentioned the importance of taking care and nurturing a tree. Later, the Senapati DFO instructed all participants how to plant trees. The Fab Maneda expressed gratitude towards Senapati DFO D. John Shah for providing 2,100 saplings of various kinds of very various kinds of trees and SP of Senapati Karthik Maladi for providing two vehicles. International footballer Dangmei Grace, hailing from Dimdai Long Village under Trachanpur district, has signed a deal with Uzbekistan Super League club FC Nasaf. 
and she is set to play in the next season for the club. She has become the third Manipuri women footballer from India who has played for a foreign club. Meanwhile, she is also the third Indian women footballer to have signed a professional contract with foreign clubs. She has signed a six-month deal with Nasaf FC. Speaking to ICTV News with sports journalist Boyai, Grace highlighted about her journey on signing the deal. Despite a financial constraint, she said that it was the relentless support of her fa parents, families and friends which pushed her to work harder and excel. I was able to financial problems but power lining I like to be and do a national hamacha for the Imana Bigi but wire gas national salapa India git track or up for the foreign passport same number Pesalita than a Babani and one of honor a Chemopo Colopa one of the honor a dubu yumgi support a degi maba agi support me and moigi awaba me am some uragan the hot nanning but the hen hen soup I wonder hen as a power a duga I know Hazaning with it. Tungi Horopa Angang sing the Noina Hotna Riba, Amadi Noina Sagaliba Asa, the Igi. Why problem have as it the Mueva the Dum Tinga Dolere, a dubu, the Namnava Honava, the Gi Aina Saliba Lambizi, the Dinomanata Noma, the Mai Panga Kano Honagi have as it Hogaliba Angang sing the Tamani. Top stories once again. 47 dead bodies recovered at landslide hit Mach 1 Marangting so far. Total number of the injured and deceased victims turned out to be 79. Fever raging at Kwatha village. Over 20 villagers left sick. Manipur reports 9 more daily COVID cases, 3 discharges, active cases surged to 49. Thank you so much for joining with us.